Okay, so hello everyone, in this video allow me to show you how to adjust your rear brake drums and if necessary how to adjust your handbrake, okay, if necessary. But first let's focus on the brake drum because the brake drum and the handbrake are intrinsically connected, okay. Now I know there are already a lot of videos out there with regard to this topic, but I feel those videos only show you how to do it, but they neglect to tell you when you need to do it. And your handbrake is a good reference or starting point. Should you feel that your handbrake is no longer having that bite as it used to have or you find the need to pull up more on it in order for it to engage or worse even if you've already pulled up on this all the way up but the brake is still not engaging this is a telltale sign that you need to adjust your rear brake drum a lot of people go straight to adjusting this but before you even bother adjusting your handbrake adjust it here first and in most cases this will follow because like i've said in the beginning these two are intrinsically connected now the procedure that i'm going to show you is more or less applicable in all vehicles this is for a toyota innova and this is for the pajero mk1 first gen so let's start with this toyota innova first things first count the number of clicks that the ratcheting sounds or clicks that this handbrake produces okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve for this pajero mk1 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and okay, so 11. So take note of those numbers, okay? 11 for this Pajero and 12 for the Toyota Innova. Now, here is your adjuster. If you turn it towards this direction, okay, I'll show you. That will push the shoes out and if you want to turn this on the opposite direction to bring the shoes in press here and that allows you to turn the adjuster in the opposite direction if you don't press it here this automatic adjuster is going to lock the spur gear now a lot of people adjust this by removing the drum then adjust it refit the drum remove it again, adjust, refit, and remove it again, and that is very tedious. So I, on the other hand, do it to, through this port behind the backing plate. You see that window right there? That allows you to use something like this to adjust the adjuster from behind the backing plate, see? Now I believe the engineers purposely put that window right there for us to make our adjustment from behind the backing plate. See, even this parking brake manual that I found for newer Pajeros, it actually tells you to do the adjustment from behind the backing plate. Now I will put the brake drum back on. Okay, so now using this, I will show you how to adjust this from behind the backing plate. Okay, now you want to be patient with this just one or two clicks at a time you don't want to overdo this otherwise if you overdo it you will have the brake shoes pushing up against the brake drum and that will prevent you to pull the brake shoes off okay so don't overdo it just one click at a time this is only purely by feel click see one more click and try to it's already dragging see Turn that. One more click. Okay. Try to pull it off. You can see that. Like, as you can see, I can. It's already preventing me from pulling it all the way down. That means I've already overdid that. Okay. So before that will prevent me from pulling the brake drum off, I will already stop the adjustment. Okay and try to pull the brake drum see it's already difficult but i can still do that uh -huh. see so what i will now do is just back off one adjustment press down on this automatic adjuster just one tooth and that's that see so now i'll put the brake shoes back on okay and another tip is should you find it difficult to put the brake shoe back on push these two brake shoes up 
okay that will center the brake shoes and allow you to put the brake drum back on so now i will leave the adjustment there so don't forget to put the rubber cover back on okay just push that in and that's that the same procedure on the other side just remember one to two clicks at a time okay show you one try to pull that off okay still loose be patient with this another click because it really doesn't take much see it's already starting to bind okay maybe one more click okay okay so I'm gonna leave it there I can still pull the brake shoes off but it's already starting to drag as you can see the brake shoe is already locking on the brake drum so just like I did on the other one I will back that one turn just one tooth okay and that's that push the shoes up and put the brake shoe back on okay see so that's how you adjust your rear brake drum so let's check on our handbrake one two three four five and six okay and the seven okay so earlier it was up to 12 so now one two okay one two three four five six okay so see so that's how you adjust your rear brake and you need not adjust your handbrake but i will show you that too later on okay so again don't forget to put the dust cover back on so let's move on to this pajero remember 11 clicks on the handbrake okay so bring it down like the toyota innova it also has an adjustment port behind the backing plate okay so again it's the same for this pajero from behind the backing plate purely by feel so remember be patient just one click at a time another click okay Okay, one more because that feels too loose. Okay, and it's already starting to drag. See, now I will leave it there, but I will show you what happens if you overdo it just so you won't do it. Okay, I will do it so you won't do it see now it's already stuck but I will make that even more stuck one more click and now I can no longer pull the <clears throat> brake drum I can I cannot even turn the brake drum now I overdid that but just in case that happens to you get yourself an m8 by one bolt okay Mostly for Japanese vehicles, it's going to be an M8 by one bolt. I don't know about American vehicles, but mostly, okay? So, just one side at a time. Be patient with this. And see, that allowed us to pull the brake drum off. Okay, so, so what I will do now is undo the adjustment maybe by three feet, okay? Just three, that is one, that is two, and that is three. So, push the brake shoes up, that will center it. Let's try to fit our brake drum and see, actually that's too loose. Let's try to adjust it again. So, as you have seen, we just undid three teeth and that already made the brake drum loose so 
I'm going to tighten that back again. Okay, so I'll give that just one click and let's see. Okay. And as you can see, it's already starting to drag. Maybe one more click, okay? And I'm gonna leave it there. It's already preventing me from pulling the brake drum, but I can still do so by hand, okay? So same procedure on the other side, just remember not to overdo it, okay? I cannot emphasize that enough, not to overdo it, otherwise you're gonna have to do what I did. You're going to have to pull the brake drum off through these holes, okay? And you don't want that. Okay, so now let's check our handbrake. Earlier it was up to 11 clicks, and now let's check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and... Okay, 6, only up to 6. I can no longer pull that anymore so only up to six and that is perfect so you see like i've said in most cases if you adjust your rear brake drums properly you don't have to adjust your hand brake but just in case in the off chance after doing this your hand brake still is sloppy and you can still pull this all the way to 11 clicks and the hand brake is still not really engaging now just so you know i already loosened it up down so we can do this just so i can show you okay so 11 clicks divide 11 by 2 that's going to be 5.5 so we're going to leave that on 6 hold on i lost count 1 2 uh-huh 1 2 3 4 5 6 so let me first throw you a rough illustration okay just so you'll have an idea of what we are going to do underneath these are your both rear brake drums you have cables coming out from each brake drum and then you have one main cable that goes to your handbrake lever okay something like that and here is your adjustment nut and this is where we are going to make our adjustments okay believe it or not this is applicable in all types of vehicle they might look slightly slightly different but it's more or less the same basic working principle. So what we will do is we will adjust it here. So 10 mm ratchet. Now what, what I will do is I will just remove the slack on the cable. Sorry about that. It's difficult to do this with one hand. Okay, so it's already starting to get tight. Okay, some more until you can feel the slack from the cable go away so it's still very see I'm just even turning that with one finger and it's already starting to get tension I can no longer turn that with one finger how about two? I can steal. Okay, so a couple more turns. Okay, let's check. Okay, so I'll try to release that and let's see. So one, two, three, four, and five, and six. Okay, so six. So that's how you adjust your handbrake for Pajero MK1. So for this Toyota Innova, it goes up to 12 clicks. So 12 divided by 2 is 6 plus 1. So we're going to lift that up to 7 clicks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay? So for this Toyota Innova, you'll find the right handbrake cable here and the left handbrake cable here. Okay? And the mechanism is sitting right behind this heat shield now you don't have to remove the heat shield to make your adjustments because here is where you will make that adjustments but just so I can show you how this works okay I'll remove the heat shield so the way this thing works is this is your main brake cable that goes into your handbrake this is the left handbrake cable and this is the right handbrake cable should you pull on the handbrake lever it's going to 
do something like that okay I'll show you okay so as you have seen that's how it works but like I said you don't actually have to remove the heat shield to make your adjustments because this is where you will do that so anyway more or less same procedure undo this lock nut okay and that allows you to turn this okay turn that counterclockwise until you feel this lock from the cable go away okay and I will give that one more turn lock the lock nut down okay hold on okay I need to let go of the camera just lock this down so I've already locked the lock nut down see I've seen I just turned it by hand I just removed the slack on the handbrake cable so let's check our handbrake lever and let's check okay so one two three four five six and seven okay so seven okay so that's how you make your adjustments okay just remember count the number of clicks first if it's 12 clicks divided by two six clicks plus one so seven that's how you leave it there and make your adjustment below okay so for the pajero mk1 it's 11 clicks so divided by two 5.5 so leave it at six clicks and make your adjustment there just remember just remove this lock on the handbrake cable okay i repeat do not overdo it if after doing your adjustments it's going to let you pull the handbrake only up to two or maybe three clicks or maybe four then you have overdid your adjustments okay so like i've said count the number of clicks divided by two and plus one click make your adjustments there and that is the proper adjustment if you're going to overdo this you're going to risk snapping the handbrake cable off okay the reason why i know that because i already committed that mistake maybe 10 years ago so that's why i am telling you okay there's a saying wise men learn from other people's mistake fools from their own so eight ten years ago i was a fool so i learned from that mistake so now i'm telling you that mistake so that you will have the opportunity in this case to be a wise man and learn from my mistakes okay so anyway i do believe i'm going to end this video here it's already dark that is how you adjust your rear brake drum and if necessary that is how you adjust your hand brake so if you like this video and found this informative let me know in the comments below like share subscribe if you want to only if you want to and as always thank you for watching